Well, good viewers and listeners in, I thought we'd do something a little different today and start off by reading a message from a fan. That's right, I got my first fan mail. Everybody loves old Cyril. The message comes from Xbox Gamer Tag G04552M0U. What the hell kind of name is this? Anyway, he says, Dear old Cyril, make more horde videos. Nobody gives a fuck about Dark Souls or your shitty reviews. Your channel will be dead in three months if you keep this shit up. Fuck. What an asshole! Some fan mail that was! Uh, I said it was the best Troy viewer, I didn't say it was nice. Well, Mr. Atoll, you're in luck, because this is the first in a new series of Gears videos. From now on, I'm going to be giving Horde strategy for the new maps they release every month. In addition to that, any time they come out with a new playlist like Feral or Heads Down, I'll post a strategy video. Now are you people happy? Okay, well don't forget to also watch my other great content like VR videos and Rebecca Black. Alright, fine! Just watch the gear shit! Let old Cyril starve, see if I care! <clears throat> well, anyway, this month's new maps are Avalanche and Rustlung. Well, they're not exactly new. The newest one is five years old, but they're new to Gears 4. I'm going to start by talking about Avalanche first, mainly because I hate Rust Lung. Why the hell did they even include that map? It doesn't even have the silver back. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. Post haste! On Avalanche, set up the base on the elevated section at the west end of the map. Place barriers and sentries around the stairs and spread your squad throughout the three alcoves in the middle. The sniper should post up in the center alcove and focus mainly on covering the scout. The sniper strike also works great on this map if you have it. Our squad had two heavies so we could mount turrets at both ends of the base. Place the turrets in the second alcove from the stairs facing the north or south spawn point and position it so you'll be able to turn towards the stairs in case an enemy breaks through. Not only will you be able to target all the enemy spawns from here, but you'll also be able to cover the scout when he's in areas the sniper may not be able to reach. Speaking of turrets, much was made about the nerf to turrets in the recent update, but I find them to be almost as effective as before. The salvo on the other hand feels like it was nerfed far worse than the supposed 12% damage reduction it received. Both myself and the other heavy found it took more than 50 rockets to take down even the weaker bosses on hardcore, so the salvo should really only be used as a backup weapon now if your turret runs dry. Look at all those presents! As for the engineer, make sure you take the man turret cost card as they are extremely expensive to upgrade since the patch. The base is also fairly spread out here, so it's a good idea to take the Repair Boost card. Yeah! Unleash the power of the Enforcer! As I said, I'd recommend taking a second heavy on this map instead of a soldier, but if you're a diehard soldier, just stay in the base and follow the scout laterally across the map, giving him as much cover as possible. No real tips for the scout on this map, just do your thing, and hang back in the later waves like you would on any map. A few other tidbits. The power sometimes drops in weird places on this map and has a habit of spawning in front of the turret which can get really annoying. It's not a bad idea for the scout to patrol near the heavies on the later waves to make sure they can see. And that's it! Don't forget to open your presents on wave 50! Celebrate your victory by blowing yourself up! What the fuck? Please, please kill yourself. The fuck? You're a fucking idiot! This needs to stop! Now! 
Who was that asshole? Anyway, on to Rust Lung. I just have one tip for this map. It sucks, don't play it. If you enjoyed the fucking video, leave a fucking like. All right, all right, fine. I'll give you some tips for Rust Lung. If you insist on playing this map, the only viable place to set up is the spawn point, which will limit the sniper's effectiveness, but works okay for the other clashes. I thought maybe the north end of the map might work as well, but it's too open with too many entry points. Going out into this middle section is certain death with the limited cover, even as a scout, so let the horde come to you. The best choke point is this hallway, so set up a turret at the end and have the scout try to lure the bigger enemies into it. And that's pretty much it. There's really not a lot to this map since it's so tight. Just hunker down and slowly build the base outwards like you would on most smaller maps. It's not a great map for a horde, but it's not terrible either. I just find it boring and ugly to look at. It was only popular for multiplayer in Gears 3 because it had a silverback spawn on it. But they took that out, so I'm not even sure why they re-released it. Oh, right. That. Well, I'm tired from all this complaining. I'm going to the Asian massage parlor to relax. Till next time, fare thee well, f***ers. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment and a like. It helps us get more exposure on the YouTubes. And while you're at it, why not subscribe? We put out shit like this every week.